we may have talked about it a little bit, we really we ran into these other bikers <clears throat> that weren't tourists. They were just um, out for a day ride. Oh, and they gave right. us this shortcut. We saw their bikes outside of a yeah. restaurant. That's right, that was coming from the campground. They gave and us we saw and we just for some reason we saw the bikes and we were like, oh they're you know touring bicyclists. Yeah. You know, we ran into the restaurant. We're like, should we go in and talk to them? We're like, yeah, we should. And we ran in. And they were just sitting there eating breakfast or whatever. We're like, hey, are you guys on the Trans Am? And they kind of looked at us a little weird and they're like, well, no, we're just out for a ride, you know. Because um, we saw their bikes unloaded and we're like, they must be like credit card touring, yeah. you know, they're traveling so light, you know. <laughs> but they, they ended up giving us this real, pretty good shortcut. Right, it was nice. Um, yeah. And then we stopped at this, uh, They like, told us to avoid the three, three ugly sisters. Stepsisters, yeah. yeah, which were three hills, they like had nicknamed these three bad clones. Hills, smells. Yeah, man. which, you know, whatever. So what's going on today? Oh well, we ate, how many eggs did we each eat? Four eggs each <laughs> this morning and a packet of grits each and I felt like we hadn't eaten a darn thing. <laughs> I don't know, the hot weather's been making it, um, making me less hungry but yesterday was nice most of the day and I, I just wanted to eat the whole time. Mm -hmm. We just ran into some bicyclists that are uh, just doing a day ride. They're doing like 90 miles today or something, but they don't have packs on. So. Right. I guess that's it. We're headed to, we're going to try and make it 80 miles today to a town called Seabury. <laughs> We just stopped for a little snack outside of uh, Fordsville. We just met our first westbounder. That's right. Uh, eastbounder. Well, I guess we met that Dutch guy, but yeah. he did, wasn't exactly an eastbounder. Yeah, I really should have videotaped that conversation. That would have made for a lot more interesting <clears throat> viewing than us sitting here eating a snack. But there's supposed to be a restaurant in here, according to the Adventure Cycling GPS data. I think that probably used to be it right there. I guess restaurants pretty much come and go out in this little town, so. Like bike shops. Yeah, bike shops seem to do the same. Yeah, this town is also where the cool fire station biker hostel is. Oh, like right. It's, I mean, not this town, but it's right around here. Which we didn't stay at. Right. And the Duke boys, it sounded like they stayed there. And it was like, apparently this volunteer fire station that nobody was ever at, and they just left it unlocked. And you, know, you could go in and sleep there and use the, you know, shower. And there was like a big screen TV and, you know. And the stuff. way that we really heard about that place was from the first, like, the first two full trip Eastbounders that uh, we met, which was, yeah, um, and we only met one of them. We ran into this guy who was going east. Yeah, you said it, yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> it was snowing on, they got snowed on, like they went through snow. Because they left in April from Oregon. Yeah. They rode through the Rockies in April. Pretty insane. Almost is maybe more insane than what we're doing, I guess. Snow would add a new level of, a whole new level of insanity. Yeah, nobody can tell us we're crazy. That's right. This was a little um, store that we stopped at. And uh, the lady in there was pretty nice. Like, she kind of warmed up to us. Yeah. We, we asked her for water and we bought some fudge that she had made. It was really good. You know what I like about biking a lot? What? <clears throat> well, a lot of times when people say, oh, 
they're going on a biking trip. It makes me think of a Viking trip. <laughs> it makes me more excited, like it's a big adventure. It is a big adventure. Doesn't a Viking trip sound awesome? Viking. I'm going on a Viking trip. <laughs> <laughs> you made me lose count of the miles. <laughs> Oops, sorry. So I don't think I said it on video, but the other night I had a dream that uh, Jonathan and Tracy got married. We took a week off from the trip for their wedding. <laughs> He was like out on a lake. You know, all these people there who had boats were sailing around. I think you actually did say something about it on camera. No, I didn't. I I thought of it later. I had that was the same night I had the crazy dreams about the I decided to get a recumbent bike. So 27 to Beach Grove. Look at those old 1984 maps. And then eight more miles from there to Seabree. That's not bad. So that guy inside that told us that it was at least 60 miles to Seabree, why do you think he said that? I don't know, maybe he hates bikers. I think he might. That seems likely. He didn't really like want to look us in the eye or anything. Yeah. Somebody else, right on this road, somebody else yelled. They were behind you for about five minutes. So I don't know if it was that long. It always seems like five minutes when there's a car sitting behind you waiting. I mean, we were going up hills, but they could have passed you. They were idiots. And when they finally did, they drove past me and they said, Get off the road! They didn't say anything to me. They didn't even stop to wait behind me. They just drove on. It's like... They didn't know how to drive around bikes. There's been a lot more people lately that have just sat behind us. Yeah, that's true. I think we might should start directing them around us. I don't know. I don't know. 